let's check out the organic chemistry questions and then the answers with explanations. I do want to point out to you right away that for organic chemistry there are three reference tables that are very very important. Two are here, reference table P, reference table Q, and finally reference table R, which gets an entire page with the reference tables for New York State. So let's go back and start with question one. We have a hydrocarbon. Hydrocarbon means just hydrogens and carbons. Has seven atoms in a straight chain. There's a double bond between the third and the fourth carbon atom and what you're looking for here is the name of this hydrocarbon. Okay, so we have seven carbon atoms. We have a double bond between the third and the fourth carbons. Well, let's take a look and let the, the tables help you. Okay, so seven carbon atoms. The prefix that's used is hept. Since we have a double bond, if you come down here and look at table Q, alkanes are for single bonds, alkenes for double bonds, alkynes for triple bonds. So we're going to have this E and E ending. So we know it's a heptene. Then finally, which heptene is it? So we know it's not one or two. Well, since the double bond, I kind of crossed that out, is occurring between the third and fourth carbon, you go with the lowest number, which is three. So the answer there is three heptene. Let's go to number two. We're given a balanced equation. Here's a reaction. It says what type of reaction is represented by this equation? Well, you're starting with an alkene, C double bond C. You'll notice you end up with an alkyne. So what's happening is one of the two double bonds is opening, and we're adding two fluorines to the molecule. The name is addition. This is one of several organic reactions that you need just to know what the format is and then what the name of it is. So it's the addition reaction for question two. Let's move on to question three. Isomers of butane and methylpropane have? Well, isomers. This is a definitely a word where you need to know the definition. Iso means something's the same and something is different. So the answer is same molecular formula, different properties, because the arrangement of the atoms is going to be different. So same molecular formula, different structures, and different structures mean different properties. So once again, if you know the definition for isomer, you can handle this question. Go to question four. Two types of organic reactions are, as I mentioned already in question two, you have to know certain organic reactions. Addition is one of them. Sublimation is a phase change. That is not one of them. Deposition, phase change, that's not one of them. Saponification is an organic reaction. Again, decomposition, not one of them. Evaporation, phase change, not one of them. Esterification is an organic reaction, and so is polymerization. So the answer here is choice four. The way that you're going to know this, though, is by memorizing the labels for the organic reactions and just like in question two, what they might look like. Let's move on to question five. For question five, it says hydrocarbons are composed of elements. And of course, here we have hydro and carbon, so it's pretty easy to figure out we're dealing with hydrogen and carbon only. So the answer, I just kind of went over it, is choice one. Now, if you get confused with question five, you could take a look here, table Q, hydrocarbons. Notice, all carbons and hydrogens, no other elements. So it might just, if you get yourself confused, it might be worth taking a look at the organic reference tables. Let's move on to question six, which reaction produces ethanol? Again, something with organic reactions and just knowing them. Ethanol is an alcohol. Alcohols are made with fermentation. You might say, how do I know that? Because I know the definitions. You need to know them as well. For question seven, the chemical process in which electrons are gained by an atom or an ion is called, oops, guess what? Gaining and losing electrons 
has to do with reduction. Well, and gaining is reduction here. This is actually a redox question. I put it in the wrong place. Didn't mean to do that, so you might have, if you went through the questions before you're listening to this video, you might have realized that as well. So remember re redox, reduction, and oxidation. Reduction is the gaining of electrons. Oxidation is the losing. So it's actually a reduction equation. That's why, again, it's so important, not just for organic, but for the entire course on chemistry that you know the different reaction levels, uh, labels, rather, and what they represent. Check out part two in the next video.